Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm thinking one in particular pair of titties in the front row. Thank you so much. Thank you, audience coordinator, for putting those titties up in the front row. God bless you. <laughs> those distracted me. I was supposed to come out. Oh, hey, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, y'all here? Yeah, huh? You look lovely, though, by the way. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Congratulations, my friend. Well, I'm glad y'all here. It's very good. Yo, congratulations to you, my friend. Look at that white woman you're with. God <laughs> damn. Nigga behind you going, yeah, son, I'm with my girl, but yo, for real? That white woman's amazing, isn't she? Tell the truth. He's with his black girlfriend, like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't know, but that, she's high level. That's a high level white woman right there. That white woman is, that is man, oh man, oh man. Black women get mad at that, but that is top shelf white woman right there. <laughs> You know how you can tell how pretty a white woman is? The value, you look at her, and then you wonder how long they would look for if she was missing. <laughs> Come on, take a look, take a look. Look at this nigga, look, 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 look! <laughs> I saw you look mad, sweetie. How long if you was missing? How long you think they were? How long you think they were? Exactly, she don't even, she went. <laughs> you know the deal. I ain't saying nothing wrong. White woman's life is valuable. <laughs> What's his name, Yorin uh, Vandersloot? <laughs> right? We find out he was a serial killer. Man, he kills women. That's what he do, he do it well. You know what I mean? We know the girl that he, that he you know, supposedly had, uh, what's the girl in Aruba? Natalie Holloway, right? But the one, he just killed the girl in Peru. What's her name? Um, exactly. <laughs> Look how fast you said Natalie. You said Natalie. Natalie Holloway. That angel. <laughs> Y'all said that like Family Feud. All right, name a white girl been missing for five years in the room. Of Nellie Holloway, <laughs> survey son. <laughs> name a Peruvian girl that was killed yesterday. <laughs> what is that big head third world <laughs> Peruvian bitch's name? to be Yoris or something goofy. <laughs> Don't get mad at yourself. I gave it to you. You saw how fast she said Natalie Holloway. <laughs> Diana Ross right here said Natalie. She knew her name. <laughs> that white girl with Natalie Holloway. <laughs> Man, you caught yourself a uh, woo. God bless you, man. That is high level right there. Don't be ashamed of it, gorgeous. <laughs> she mad as hell. Fuck that white bitch. Wait, wait. You know, come on, come on. <laughs> ain't nobody looking for you. I might look for you, but the news ain't you. <laughs> you think Fox is reporting you're missing? Let's be honest. Nancy Grace, she leads story on Nancy Grace for the next six months. Look at her, look, 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 look. <laughs> I'm looking at her because she's mad as hell. Black women don't like that shit, but it is what it is. Let's be... I'm gonna be like that. Let's, let's, let's be honest. That little girl that went missing, um, she was sailing. Little girl, went sailing. I forgot her damn name, but she, was, she went sailing and went missing in the Indian Ocean, okay? And they spent 
Good Lord. Her mask broke and she was floating around. And she gave out her little signal, her beacon. They look for her. They spent $500,000, like tax money, to search for her. Now, if that's my daughter, I want that to happen too, but, but. <laughs> if you go sailing. <laughs> let's be honest, how long you think? Are they gonna spend five, come on. Remember, my, hey, remember the football players in Miami went missing? They went sailing. They looked for them for eight minutes. <laughs> Maybe. They just sent somebody at the edge of the beach. <laughs> I don't. I don't see him. We have to call off the search because it's too much sun. Uh, it's sun. The conditions are abnormally difficult. If I go sailing, I'm taking a white baby on a keychain with me. <laughs> if my boat go down, they gonna find me. I'm gonna have it hooked right to the side of my belt. And I'm gonna dress the baby real white too. I'm gonna uh, put sweatpants on it and a pair of Ugg boots and I'm gonna <laughs> take a picture. Look at this white baby. You don't come get me. This white baby going down with me. <laughs> I hate how much fun black people can have racially, man. It's just, I can say anything I goddamn want racially. And white people have to sit there and take it. <laughs> I am evil, yes. He's like, come on, man. I, I don't even say it because of that. I, like, I, 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 love, I, I love a little racial. Yes, look, man. You know, let's be fair. I mean, it, honesty would be nicer with the racial game. I mean, it, 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 I like to talk to uh, you know, white people about being honest about uh, Obama. You gave it a shot. You did. <laughs> you gave it a two-year shot. Like, oh, yeah, I tried. I tried to. We tried to. <laughs> but you, you're not. It's not. It's just it fell apart. It really. It really did, and I'm gonna tell you something you don't know about black folks. We would be on your side, uh, in talking to white people, we would be on your side a lot more if you would, uh, you know, just not ever talk about how you feel about anything racial. We'll catch up to you. Now, serious, because black people on the edge of going, what the fuck is Obama doing? But it's too many white people outwardly hating him, so we can't. We go, if you shut the fuck, you shut up, I'll be against them. Like, stop, I'm having rallies and all kinds of stuff. I'm telling you, I'm this close to, I'm mad at him because I thought I would have a white slave by now. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was vengeance day. I'm gonna have me a white family. Oh, big old fat white girl go warm my bed up. Get upstairs, Susan. <laughs> warm my bed up, feed my baby with your giant white titties, and I'm gonna go outside and stare your husband in the face and decide whether I'm gonna sell him or not. <laughs> now, you know your wife's upstairs warming up my bed. You know that, right? <laughs> Philip. That's uncomfortable, ain't it? That's, uncom that's uncomfortable. I apologize. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> Can't we move on? We'll move on. We'll move on until something. <laughs> they don't even like that in play. That's uncomfortable, right? To think about that, but, you know. <laughs> what you gonna do? I like, I'm, I, look, they, my days are numbered. So I just want to have as much fun as possible. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm 40 and, uh, and that's, that's, that's young in everyone else's years, but uh, in black years, I, you know, high blood pressure, <laughs> diabetes. I am, uh, if you do the black to white life ratio, I'm a hundred <laughs> and 77 year old. I'm old as a mother. I'm old. <laughs> and I want to live, 
But here's why I messed up. I messed up my young years, and I realized something. I'm going to tell you, if you're over 40 and you're trying to better yourself, just, just stop. I, it's just, <laughs> you're not going to better yourself. And when I say you're not going to better yourself, I mean better yourself, like, go back to when you try to capture the things you used to do when you supposed to have did it, but you didn't do it. You feel me? So the stuff that you were 18 and didn't do, now you're 40 and you're going, I'm going to make a change. It's just... <laughs> it doesn't make me sick more than somebody 40 and say they in school. Like, what you doing? I mean, I'm going to school. <laughs> you're never too young and never too old and never too... <laughs> All a bunch of sayings. You know, the older you are, the... <laughs> Shut the, fu <laughs> the fuck up with your old horse shit. Cause it ain't, you're old. Your brain don't work. Your body don't work. You can't change your ethic. There might be two of you that changed your ethic. Like these fat people shows that are on TV where they got people, as soon as that show is over, get fat again. Big, fat, fats. Fatty, that's what you are. I went to exercise recently, and I tried to change my life and exercise. After I finished, I was saying to myself, I got to do this tomorrow? <laughs> like, nothing changed. I should have got a lump. I don't care what it was. Something should have changed. Nothing. And I got to keep doing this until maybe I see a change. But I just can't. I don't have that ethic anymore. I should have did it when I was 18 years old. Like, I can't type. But I didn't realize how important typing was till right now. I fucked up all my good typing years calling people gay who was going to typing class. It was just like... <laughs> me and six other dudes, like, what you doing? Ty you want to be a secretary? What the kind of pussy? Man. Come on, man, let's go uh, steal bread. We used to go steal bread <laughs> and lunch meat from the supermarket and make sandwiches and sell them during typing class. <laughs> and now I can't type. <laughs> if you can't type and you try to be in a world with people who can, you, you, you feel irrelevant and you stop, you know? You say hello to some woman on the internet, hi. And she come back with the seven page <laughs> memo, like, hello, whap! And you be like, really, for real? All those words, you saw me type, hello. And I yelled it evidently, I, in big letters, it was saying hello. Really, seriously? You think I said hello? Hi, bitch! Hi! Is that what you think I did for real? Yeah, really? You just send smiley faces. That's all I do. I know smiley emoticons. I know, I love those. Like, I can't spell... If I had to spell restaurant to this day, right, to save my mama's life, like, if... if like, if somebody held my mama hostage and had a gun to her head, right, and says, nigga, spell restaurant. You know, like, I'm gonna shoot your mother in the head. I'd be like... I would look at my mother like, uh, I love you. <laughs> you gotta look at me, Ma. She's crying. <laughs> Understand that I... I love you with all my heart. <laughs> Stop stalling, nigga! Okay, all right, all right, all right! All right, all right, all right, all right. R-E-S-T. Oh, my God. Here's where it gets. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, there's a ooh, there's a ooh, ooh. Resty, stew, rank, rank. Ruant is the, it's an A or U or U. All right, give me, another, give me another word, man. Give me another word, one more word. Just give my mother a chance to live. 
tomorrow? <laughs> Probably, God. Damn. Banana, all right, banana, banana. B-A-N. B-A-N-N. A-N-N-N. Is it, ain't there like seven N's in banana? B-A-N-N-N, A-N-N-N. A-N-N. 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 I'm uh, irrelevant, how old are you, bro? 35, five years, you know. How you feeling, you feeling, you feeling all right? <sighs> you feel like these young guys are, you know, you a football fan, it, all your, your whole life? You notice how football's whack now? Things are changing? It seems like, look, this, this may be old thinking, okay? Now, when I came up, you a football fan? No, <laughs> that's some, like, he's not. Like, what dude, like, that shocked me. Like, dudes are football fans. Oh, I don't just live too violent. Like, <laughs> like, football, it's not like the game. It, when I came up, dude, football was a gla it was gladiators. It was angry. It was angry. It was just, like, when we hit somebody, when I played, if you hit somebody and he didn't get up, like, we didn't hold hands with the with the other team and pray, like hold hands and all, everyone prays for him to get up. We used to do a Indian, like sell a hump dance circle around like, yeah, look at you, oh, 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 and be like, and our crowd's like, he's paralyzed. That's right, oh, oh, oh. We be looking for his mother crying, be like, that's right, lady. That's what you get for letting him out here with killers. He can't even wiggle his toes. Take his socks. Take his socks. We would tie his socks around our helmet for the next week. Like the next team, they knew, oh, that's the team that be tying paralyzed niggas' socks around their helmets to scare them next week. And it ain't like we were thinking about harming somebody. It's just that's what we did. Right? Oh, look at this guy. This, <laughs> look at this fucking crew right here. You guys are hilarious. You okay, guy? You all right? You late for some tests you're gonna have at one in the morning? Huh, intelligence face? Are you a big football fan? You like football? Yeah. You are? Sort of? I don't think so. I think you saw me tease this guy. I'm just trying to get us to understand, man, that you the future, okay? I'm done, but they're taking away... I'm a Neanderthal, okay? They're taking away what I used to just automatically think and feel, and now they're just taking it away from you, so that now even you look at dudes like me, like older dudes, and go, oh, you're... It's like self-policing. Men go, oh, that's not... You shouldn't... <laughs> like, inappropriate is a vaginal word. Like, that's not a word... That is inappropriate. Like, is that coming from a man? Like, women say that. That's women's jobs. They say, that's just, that's... Like, that's... <laughs> men are supposed to do... We're here to do foul things and have you go, oh, but now what's, where's the balance? See, it's, 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 it's yin and yang. The balance, you, you got to liven up. You got to be a little more... Is that your woman right there? See, she got, see how comfortable you are? You shouldn't be as comfortable as you are. You just, you can see him sitting up <gasps> straight and you're just looking and he's just like, <gasps> whatever you laugh at, I'll laugh at. It's not a good thing, brother. I feel it. Don't get mad at me now. He's like, fuck you, fat boy. <laughs> Can't type or read, huh, fat man? I'm just saying, man. I don't know how to type, but I do know, I, I'm telling you, this is, this is, uh... Like, ladies, let's discuss, hey, look, let's discuss harassment <laughs> for a second. Let's just, you, you feel it a little bit? Like, let's just discuss it. Wh why can't I harass you? <laughs> 
sometimes, sometimes. I can never harass you, never. And I'm not talking about, hey, ooga booga. Like, I'm talking just. At the job, it's unfair that I can't harass you at the workplace. Like, <laughs> you looking how you looking, and I can't just a little something that has to do, like you gotta be careful just to say, hey, you look beautiful today. That's how messed up the game is. I think you should be able to comment on any part of the body <laughs> that you see. If you, I'm serious. What's your name? What's your name? Jeannie. Now, Jeannie, no disrespect, but if I work with you, <laughs> I should be able to walk in and go, oh, Jeannie, beautiful uh, titty meat you have there. <laughs> and, because I see that, but whatever the scientific term is, I'm looking at Mr. A 4.9 grade point average, what's the? <laughs> What's a science term for uh, t the titty meat? What's the actual? And it's not the cleavage. I mean, the cleavage is the space in the middle. I'm talking about the meat, the, the meat, the titty part. And I'm not being foul, just, you know, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Just so I can go through the rest of the day without pretending that I don't see, which, which, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, let's work out a deal. Don't get me f fired. <laughs> having women work with men, right, is like having a grizzly bear work with salmon. <laughs> Dipped in honey, like, so, now you dip the salmon in the honey, right, grizzly bears, and the salmon get to walk through comfortable with honey and fish and good morning, grizzly bears. <laughs> and the grizzly bears is like, hey, he ain't even, he can't even growl. Like, ah, what's up, fish? <laughs> oh my God, human resources. The grizzly bear just did grizzly bear stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Like, I can't even go, hey, good morning. Good morning, fish, good morning. Oh, I can't touch you, like, oh, look at that. Oh, let me just get a little bit of that fish, a little bit. Get that honey, oh my God. Fish and honey, man, that's my favorite. Usually I kill fish and eat them and stuff, but I just wanted to just rub that, rub a little bit of that. God damn. That's oppressive, like you shouldn't even, and there's cameras everywhere, you can't do like weird stuff behind a back, like. Why would it be disrespectful I said, what's your name? Ter Terrell, if I go, hey Terrell, we work together. And I go, Terrell, hey, do me a favor, let me know when you're getting up to go to the bathroom so I can sniff your chair. <laughs> disrespectful because it's sexual, but that keeps me from being... Like, I think, look, I think there should be a holiday, uh, for lack of a better word, harassment day, but not... That sounds whatever, but I mean a day where I get to find out. Like, because, and this is why it should be harassment day, because women get to be inappropriate sexually all the time. You get to be inappropriate. And when I say inappropriate, I mean say hello to me too close. Hi. <laughs> or some weird massage because you think we're friends and you, good morning, little kiss. And he's just like, oh. 
Oh, boy, oh, boy, 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 boy. And you think in your head, man, I wonder if I could, I wonder if I could, I don't know. <laughs> but harassment day allows you to be able to ask. All year, I say the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. <laughs> And it's, and it's a beautiful day, flowers and everything. You buy a flowers, you're just real cool. You walk up, you're respectful, you say, hey, how are you? You know, good afternoon, Terrell, happy harassment day. <laughs> and you just like say, listen, I was wondering all year if you would suck my dick in a broom closet. <laughs> And you just be like, no, thank you, I'm not. And you be like, I'm, thank you, keep the flowers. I just thought, <laughs> I made a mistake. I thought you was a hoe all year. I was confused. I thought you was a hoe, but you're not. <laughs> Even animals, man, animals smell it on us. They do. Animals smell something's wrong, like with the dog whisperer, he got animals. And I'm an animal. <laughs> Let me say this, man. I, I'm a, what they, I don't know what the term is for uh, extreme animal lover. Like, I, I get sick when I see animals suffering, and I know that's contrary to popular belief somehow. <laughs> somehow it's spread out that uh, black people, we, like, we hate animals. <laughs> like, we can't stand dogs and cats, and I, I don't get it. That's the news doing that, because they only show dudes that hate dogs. Like when the Vic stuff was happening, what do you think of Michael Vick and the dog? They just show, every dude they show is like, man, dogs, man, fuck dogs. I'll, <laughs> I'll drown a dog in a bucket right now. We give me a dog. Where's a, where's a dog at? I'll kill him. I hate dogs. I hate dogs. And then they'll show a white woman like tongue kissing a dog in the mouth. Just to prove white people love dogs. And then they go back to him and he's mad. Like, look at this dirty white bitch tongue kissing. <laughs> devil, devil bitch tongue kissing a, a jackal in the mouth. <laughs> devil licking jackals. And then she's like, shy. And it's like, some weird war. They always want black people and white people to be at war, man, for some reason. Why can you hate a, I don't, people who hate animals, like, I, I don't, I'm not gonna go, I hate you, but it's, it'll be hard. It takes away a piece of how close we might be. If you go, I hate animals. Like, somebody look at a baby seal and go, oh, I can't wait to hit this motherfucker in the face. <laughs> Fucking hate baby seals, all cute. The fuck you looking at, baby seal? Like. You ever see them sad animal commercials that come on like during like four in the morning during Three's Company reruns? <laughs> and it catch you out of nowhere. You be watching Three's Company and then, ooh, ooh like, and they'll show, it be a, like it'll be a kitten and they slow motion the kitten up and the kitten, ooh, ooh, ooh and it's a, <laughs> kid got a pencil in his head, like somebody stuck, a pencil in his face. There's a pencil sticking out of his face. Then they put fun facts, 15,000 kittens are stabbed in the head with pencils each year. You'd be like, who is stabbing kittens in the face with pencils? Why? It's a pencil sticking. Then they'll show a bunch of puppies shoved in a, a container or a cup. <laughs> puppies in a cup, missing their feet. It's wrong. <laughs> Hi, I'm white lady. <laughs> I'm here to say niggas probably did it. You bitch, jackal, kissing hoe.
But I'm not saying that dogs should be equal citizens either. I love my dogs, man, but I, I can't, you know, it's wrong to train them. And they're out of control, and I'm not really a, a Caesar Milan understander. I try, I try with what is, but my, I, got a, I got a Westie, a little Westie, a, a poodle, and I love my dogs, man. I let, and I let them go to the bathroom on the wee-wee pad in the house, man. I, I don't care. I like, and everything's good when they do that, because they got a little baby. You know, when they're eating right, the, 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 it'd be nice, little, little you know. <laughs> I don't have, they don't have to scratch, they just uh, do their thing. And when they do their thing, everything's beautiful. I go, good boy, good girl, bow. And everybody's happy, but sometimes they just decide they're gonna try me and go, like they have a meeting and go, you know what? Let me see what happens if I piss on this good rug that he bought. Let's see. Why don't you go on, you wanna piss on this rug? I'll pay, who gonna do it? You, come on, one, two, three. All right, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then the other one peeking around the corner, like, oh, okay, okay. And just, Ugh. it's usually the Westie, cause he got the cutest look. The Westie got the, got the sad, like, what did I do, face? So I'd be like, what are you doing? Oh, come on, man. Why would you do that? He says, I'm dumb. I don't know. <laughs> I go, go ahead, boy. Come on, man. Everybody's happy. And then, like, because when I was younger, this is how you train dogs. It was no, it was easy. You just put them down when they first get in the house, and you just hide around the corner, you know? And you just wait. You wait till it goes to the bathroom where it ain't supposed to. As soon as he crunch up and go to the bathroom, you gotta wait till the first. And then you just run, motherfucker! <laughs> and you just you shove his face in shit. How's that feel? Shitty face, your face stink. How's that? Yeah, what? He's like, what? You choke him out, and he's, he start tapping like, oh, hey, kick him. Don't shit on my rug, you mother... <laughs> and he'll never shit there again. Like, he may go there, but here? <laughs> he'll pull a cigarette out first, we... Here, God. Woo, something happened to me. Bad there. I'm scared to even get near there. I'm gonna do heroin when he get near that spot. I'll kill you. That rug costs more than you, motherfucker! <laughs> but I'm trying to save you, man, because you are the future, my friend. Because I'm finished. I'm stuck in a relationship. Done. Done. This is a man in love. Here's, here's the face of a man in love. <laughs> and the face of a woman in love is like, yay, yay, I'm in love. But the face of a man in like is like, yeah, man, I like her. And women are like, where is this going? <laughs> Why does it have to go somewhere? It's just cool right now. Like, Here's the best relationship in the world is when the woman loves you and the man likes her. So if I like you and you love me, that's perfection. <laughs> Because I like like. Like is like when, that's when he's happy to see you and happy to hear you and, and you doing things that don't disrespect the, the happen. You lie about liking sports and you do all kind of things. I know that sounds like ridiculous, but I'll put it in vaginal terms for you. <laughs> Cause I see the faces like, huh? And then guys go, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, but I, I but guys do. I, f I speak fluent dude, man. I, I understand how we are. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, H ladies, you know, how many times has there been a guy in your life, or it, guys in, where there's been men in your life who want to sleep with you, but you didn't want to sleep with him? Yeah. Zillions, you can't count it. So <laughs> what that means, there's a, there's a philosophy there, meaning you are 
sexable. He wants to sleep with you, but just because you are sexable don't mean I'm sexable. Right? Same thing with love. Just because I'm lovable. Doesn't mean that you're lovable too. You're just likable to me. You didn't do for me what I did for you to feel that way. Do you understand what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's very simple. So if you just wait for me to love you, then you, you'd be all right. You might have to wait a while. But men don't have the option to muscle you like you muscle us. You know, you got to either shit or get off the pot. We've been together <laughs> this many months, and it's time for us to discover where... Like, but men don't say nothing like that to muscle you, man. That's, that's you know, I can't go, look, we've been going out for a week now. It's, 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 uh... <laughs> it's time for you to roll these panties down, because... It's been too long, I've been buying you drinks and you got to either shit or get off the pot. <laughs> but when your woman loves you, it's very difficult to get past that, man. A woman's love is so beautiful, man. It's not, men's love is not as beautiful. It ain't pure, because it's a work, it's job. I look at my girl laying there, I be like, yeah, huh. oh, man. I want to call out sick from love. I'd be like, damn. But she's sleeping right there. I'd be wanting to give the call in sick voice. Uh, I, got, I, got, I can't make it to love you today. I got to. Uh, but when your woman love you, man, you feel weird. I try to start arguments with my girl all the time just so that she love me less because she just, the way she love me is just too much. I'm like, damn. It ain't, it's not necessary. <laughs> but she loves, man. And, and, and love for a woman embodies everything. It's like, I, 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 she's concerned about my health. Ain't no man in here ever asked how their woman's health is, ever. <laughs> Look at this laugh. How, how long y'all been together, by the way, bro? Two years. Have you ever asked her a health question? Never, it ain't happening. He never, we don't know when she, last time she checked her uh, titties for, for lumps? Anybody's man ever asked me to check your titties for fucking lumps? No. If you take pills, do your man go, have you taken your pills? No, we don't give a shit. <laughs> Just knock your pills off the guy. Move, what's all these pills, you sick bitch? <laughs> sound like maracas around here, you sick. And it's not because we don't care about you, it's just the way we care is not the way, you know. <laughs> Men don't care about health in general. We don't care about being sick. I should be getting prostate checks every week. <laughs> I should be at least doing my own prostate check. You can, if your prostate swelled up, you could put your own finger in your booty, right? to see if your prostate swell, because you, you can't, but look, all of that, I'll never know, because I'm not gonna stick, I'll, I'll let my prostate fall out my asshole first. I'll be walking, it'll fall on the ground. I'll be like, is that my prostate just fell out my asshole? <laughs> and I still wouldn't go to the hospital. I call one of my friends on the phone. Hey man, your prostate ever fall out your asshole? <laughs> What you do about it? Put some duct tape? All right, put some duct tape. <laughs> it's beautiful, uh, the love. I'm telling you, I'm diabetic, man, and, and, and you know, I'm not gonna find no woman that gives, cares. Just off the street. Because diabetes, look, I don't, first of all, I don't support it. I. <laughs> If I didn't have it, I could give a, it's just, whatever, dude, really. Can't eat cookies, faggot. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> 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 
But I got that miserable disease. It's just, it's one of those, it's deteriorating. It's just a, it's just a pain in the ass because I can't eat and drink what I want. Like, I can eat as many vegetables as I want. <laughs> Patricia can have all the Brussels sprouts you ever needed. It's like, oh. <laughs> Why can't I eat pasta and cake? But you can't. And it's hard. It's like being addicted. Food is, I'm telling you, food is an everyday, like, I'd be like, oh my God, man, food again? I gotta think about, every day I gotta think. Uh, I go to sleep thinking about food. Tomorrow, like, what am I gonna do? I, today, I had salad and fruit and I, I'm gonna celebrate tomorrow by having a whole lamb leg <laughs> to celebrate how good I ate yesterday. It's, it's just a suffering. And I understand being addicted. Any smokers, smokers here? Anybody just smoking? See, and that's like, and that's you, young man. Then, but you know, you know, it's a, it's you know, you don't, you're good people. You don't want to die. You know, smoking is a, like, you just know, you dying. Like, <laughs> man, oh man, dog. And you're gonna get cancer. Like, you know, you're gonna get cancer. And you're giving other people cancer. You're like, and you're like, I'm not a bad person. I just can't keep it, I can't keep it uh, down in my system here. <laughs> and then the pack of cigarettes. They used to say things like, uh, cigarettes possibly might <laughs> cause you to be ill at some point in your life. Now they say that will kill you, and you still. <laughs> And then you got the cigarette boxes in Canada. You ever see Canada cigarette boxes? They got dead babies on the box. Like, it just be a dead baby. Can you imagine smoking and rationalizing? <laughs> imagine you tell yourself, you'd be like, man, I'm glad I made it past his age. God damn. <laughs> How old was he when he started smoking? Like a a day old? Jesus, slow down, nigga, use a filter. <laughs> I saw some white chocolate covered Oreos. White Oreos dipped in chocolate, man. I, I, could, it was, I was in, in tears, <laughs> like, knowing I shouldn't eat it, but I was in pain, like, going, oh my God. And I'm talking to myself, I can't eat these cookies, man. And they're calling me, and I'm praying to God, and I'm and I'm lactose intolerant, but like if I eat these cookies, I gotta drink milk too, I'm gonna go out like a soldier. It's like, whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> then you say all kind of weird stuff to you to rationalize eating them. I'd be like, you know what? I don't need both my feet. I'm not a, I'm not a ballerina. I don't, all I need is one so I can drive my car. I'm gonna tell you a quick love story, man. This will sum up how much my girl loved me, and it's amazing. Um, you know, like I said, I'm diabetic, man, but um, you know, it's a true story. When we have sex, we're really, uh, really dirty, man. We, we're really dirty. <laughs> uh, we pee on each other in the whole... <laughs> but that's, don't get past that, because this is true love, so... So I'm, we're having sex, right? About two years ago this happened. We're having sex, and then uh, afterwards she's like, you know, that was good, but I think we gotta go to the hospital, get you checked out. I said, why? She said, because your pee tastes like birthday cake. <laughs> and isn't that love? If you could get past the pee part, that's love, right? Well, she's like, oh, your pee is too delicious. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> She didn't go, you peed in my mouth, you nasty. She, she's just like, oh my God, your pee tastes, I don't like the way it tastes. It tastes scrumptious. What am I do? You see these three goofy girls look, they like, man, you pee in my mouth. That means you're not gonna love me to the degree that I need to save my life, are you? No. I don't need you. I don't need you if you can't taste my bee and go, something's wrong. You need to go check yourself. 
judge me. <laughs> That's your woman, bro? How long you guys been together? 10 years. Wow. Good, good. How long? Two, two and a half, three years? Good. Y'all going, y'all going raw? <laughs> you sticking raw? You do? You doing raw? Okay, you put in, you put in raw? <laughs> Look, she punched him. You know what? Let me explain. She just hit him in his arm. I'm explaining something to you. The quicker that a man goes raw, it makes him look like, you know, go ahead, pimp. You, you got it in raw. The quicker the woman goes raw, it makes you look, yeah, loose. It makes you look bad. Because safe sex is a woman's responsibility. Because men are trying to do it the first, second we meet. Look, my protection is just, I do this. <laughs> and I just go, <laughs> just not AIDS, God. <laughs> Please don't let me get sick and die. It is your responsibility. <laughs> yeah. When did y'all decide to, to do it? How long did it take, bro? How long did it take? It took a while, what's a while? What's a while of you? <laughs> hey, did you do the old bagless trick where you would just slowly, like, just try to put it in without? And you just hopefully she stop you, that, that old trick, like, okay, all right, it's getting close, and I think I'm gonna, I ain't got nothing on it yet. And then it start getting real close. She'd be like, no, she gonna let me, oh, it's dirty, bitch, hey! We both gonna die. You let me put it in? Oh, we gonna die. She let me go raw. But we won't stop, though. Oh, come on, stop me! <laughs> and I can't use no condom no more. It's over. Condom days. I probably pull a trash bag on my shit. It just, <laughs> like the wham wham music. It's just dead. I have to see if my balls can fit in there, too. Like, all right, how's that, baby? They both in there, soft, but his balls and dick is in there. You okay? How's that feel? Filled up? You feel filled up? <laughs> I'm gonna show you something, ladies, right? I'm gonna show you something. Here's why you should be responsible for safe sex. All right, how many guys in here, honestly, have used a dental dam before? Do you know what a dental dam is? You do? No one's ever used one before, huh? See? See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying about the condoms? Y'all just like, put that condom on. But you know what a dental dam is? It's a piece of a trash bag, right? <laughs> about as big as a napkin that you flip out and you lay it over a woman's vagina just in case, you know, it's, it's, it's poison. <laughs> to protect us from imminent danger, but we don't use it because you'll be insulted. If I'm getting ready to have sex with you and I pull out a piece of a trash bag, <laughs> and you go, uh, what is that? Oh, I'm just gonna lay that over your vagina <laughs> just in case it kills me. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? And we see that face or nothing? Forget it. Don't even pretend I, you didn't see that. I'd rather die than to <laughs> insult my way out of some pussy. I'd rather just get what you got. No offense, but that's us. We are not like you. Understand that. 
We're good creatures, special. We are, but we're just not like you. We're not like we don't tell the truth. And the reason is because we cannot. <laughs> truth is, uh, here's what truth is. Truth is a feeling that goes from your gut to your mouth instantaneously. Women get to be truthful. You get to say, and you say any kind of foul, because you don't have an editing. It just comes up. I just, two plus two is seven. Ah, just say it. Ah, I don't care. And you'd be like, it's, it's, it's four. Ah, it ain't, it's whatever I want to be. Ah, I'm going to talk if I feel like it. Ah, and men don't do that. We can't be honest with you. Man truth is cruel. If we told you the truth all the time, that's cruelty. <laughs> men, men go from our gut and then it stops at the heart where we edit it. <laughs> we edit what this was. What this was was gonna be foul. So I'm not gonna say what this was. And then it goes into the brain for further touch-ups, you know, analysis. Uh, okay, all right, that sounds good. And then you say it. We don't just spew stuff out, man, because how we really feel about you, it, it just, it, it's not, it's not cool. <laughs> like this, how we feel about you. You said 10 years? Let me ask you a question, honestly. What's your daydream on How to Kill Her? Here's where you're messing up. I'm gonna tell you where you're messing up. He goes, he says to me, hey man, you trying to get me killed? Do you see how we can't tell the truth? <laughs> the, the, the lie, right? That means that he thinks about it. See, do, do you understand what I'm saying? You should say, I don't think about killing my woman. But you go, you trying to get me killed? I, if I tell you how I kill this bitch, she gonna kill me. So you might as well get it out now. How do you kill her, man? Just so she know. How do you daydream about it? <laughs> Spit it out. She's looking at it. It's over. Just, sweetie, I'm trying to let you understand what you're dealing with. I'm just saying, the fact that you're alive means he didn't go through with it. He just... <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why, why guys think about killing their women. It's because we love you. <laughs> because I want you out of my life. <laughs> but I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> so I'd rather you be dead than to break your heart. <laughs> so we think about how do we kill this and get away? How do you do it, bro? I'll tell you how I kill my girl. I'll put a pillow overhead and shoot her twice with a silencer. <laughs> and the feathers come up, and I look under the pillow, and her eyes still be open, and I close her eyes, I close her eyes, and, she... and I kiss her softly on her face, but she's dead. <laughs> you might as well spit it out, because it'll help you now, because it'll be, you can blame it on all, the whole situation, instead of later, when she's like, so, you yeah. <laughs> know. You Puerto Rican, right? Cuban? Oh, Lord have mercy. Like, Whatever she's, whatever accent and whatever anger she does in Spanish, she's gonna be on you. So you might as well just say it. Think about it. Is she gonna be on you? What is it? What are you, what, are, you know? <laughs> and look at, I don't condone violence against women, but I do condone thinking about it. <laughs> because sometimes it's like, how do I get you out of my face? It, it's just like, what, what do you do? When a girl's in your face, ah, especially black women, because you know what? This is probably more important to white women, because white women, you do stuff to get killed. <laughs> People kill you. Your husbands kill you. <laughs> Black women do stuff to get hit. Like, they make you want to hit them, because they be in your face. Like, they can whoop your ass. <laughs> you be like, I'm going to put this bitch through a fish tank. <laughs> Don't get in my face, because I can't even hit you. I 
can't even poke you hard. Like, don't, don't press me like that. What you gonna do? I wish you would. He's like, oh my God, man, get out of my face. And I've never hit a woman, man. I've never needed to. And I've been, been like, wow, man, this would be so much easier if I could. But I just, you just, you just, like, I never even mushed a woman. Any woman ever get mushed? You ever get mushed? You know what a mushing is? You don't even know what mushing is. Do you know what mushing is? You do, yeah, see, look at the black girl right there. <laughs> Go ahead, show her, show her. Put the, she put a whole hand over face. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a non-violent <laughs> movement. <laughs> when you're in my face, ah! And it's just, to, it just moves you. <laughs> and sometimes a twist. <laughs> it's just get out of my face, please. I don't ever want to mush, no, I've never done it. I've come close, but I'm too scared. I don't want to go to jail over nonsense, man. Jail is sick. I don't want to do that. Push them. I don't want to mush a girl. Get out of here. She stumbled back, crack her head. And, you know, she's laying on the ground doing the, uh, the Hulk Hogan from the 80s. Like, I'm like, oh, my God. I'm lifting a hand up like the referee. Like, oh, come on, bitch. <laughs> Please get up. And, she just... and on the third one, I'm hoping she go like this. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still living, brother. And you be like, okay, okay. Oh, 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 she's living. <laughs> white women, though, I'm gonna tell you why you get killed. And this is a, f I I'm from Boston, man. I got a PhD in, in, in white people, man. I grew up around <laughs> White women, you don't scream at your men. I never seen a white woman really go, ah, it's your man, what, what? But you do something different. You don't scream, but you, you, uh, you say like really terrible things in his ear so only he can hear it. And it starts to like abrade and whittle his spirit uh, down. Like really foul stuff, but nice. Like, you know what? Your mother's breath stinks. And you'd be like, When'd you get close enough to my mom? I, I don't have to. It stinks from here. And I'm gonna fuck your friend, Philip. I'm gonna fuck Byron as soon as you go to work. And then, <laughs> this is over years and you just, you just, until all you got left is murder. You just kill her. Because you got no more spirit left. The spirit is gone. <laughs> Serious, man. If you want to understand, men, ladies, I'm, look, I'm here for you. I'm just telling you what we are, what we are. You know, not who we are, what we are. Just like what we are that, that, that makes us struggle. And really, men are perfect creatures except for, you know, one. Like, if most women would want to be a man, if you didn't have to give up, that power that you have, which is our weakness. That's our weakness. It's very difficult. I'm telling you, man, like I don't want to want to be with other women ever. Like I want to just walk down the street and go, I never need to look at another woman again because I'm with the last woman I'm ever going to be with. And I'm like, <laughs> but it ain't real. It's just <laughs> like no guy wants to cheat and hurt his woman, man. That hurts. First of all, think about what cheating is for a second, ladies. Cheating is a man. He sneaks out of his own house to go, like, find some happiness behind your back so your feelings aren't hurt. <laughs> cheating is for you. It's not... It's not for me. We don't want to hurt you. If you give a lie detector test to a man and a woman and ask them the same questions, man, we would pass them both up to a point where it's like, hey, 
Ask a woman, you love your man, you love your family, you love your home, you love what you built. Yep. All right. You see Brad Pitt or Denzel Washington or whatever standing there, would you risk everything you built with your man just to sleep with him? And women, look, they go, nah, I wouldn't. And they, they'll pass the test. They'd be like, eh, you know, I, I, it's, they look good, but I wouldn't. Ask guys the same thing, you know, boom. Love your woman, the kids, the house. Yeah. I, you, you see that girl passed out behind a dumpster? <laughs> Would you risk everything for a passed out woman behind a dumpster? I don't want to, but look at her with garbage on. She looks so cute with garbage on. You ever discuss threesomes, gorgeous? You never had a threesome discussion with your man after 10 years. Like, just even talk to him about it. Just to talk. Like, because it'll make him, wouldn't just a nice threesome talk make you feel like, oh man, just cool that she lets me get a little bit of that evil out, right? <laughs> and by the way, ladies, a threesome is two girls and a guy. <laughs> the girls be thinking, what about? <sighs> two guys and a girl is a train. That is <laughs> me and him. I don't even know him. And he better not look me in the face, like... What? <laughs> Nigga, just get your dick sucked. Why are you staring at me? Let me fuck my half of the torso. <laughs> Catch this nigga blinking at me while I'm trying to fuck my half of the body. Damn. Damn, man. Nigga, don't have train etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> You don't understand that, right? Women don't relate to that crap because you don't understand how much... Uh, to get sex for a guy, man, it's hard. It's harder to find... It's harder to get sex than it is to find love. I swear to God. Women hold down... They, you got to be smooth to get... I'm telling you, to get through that because women are like the beef eaters from uh, England with the big hats and them dudes be... Who goes there? You trying to like charm your way into the palace and you just be like. <laughs> tickle, tickle, baby, tickle, tickle. <laughs> and she's just, you're not gonna get through. Oh, come on. <laughs> and, and that's skill. Women don't, you don't have it and cause you don't need it. You don't have to have swagger to get something tonight. You don't. You can just point at it. <laughs> you can look at a guy, right? Catch his eye and go like this and he go me and then you just point right there. <laughs> And don't be sexy. Don't be like, ooh. Just, just, bleh. And he'll look around for a minute to make sure it ain't a trick, like. <laughs> Monsters is giving up pussy, man. What am I do? What am I do, say no? We're like, uh, I'm trying to like make it so women just like understand a little bit of like just to sympathize. It's like we're, we're like sport fishermen. This is what I'm saying. That's what men are. We, I mean, being with one woman, I mean, for real ladies, if you just said thank you to your man for being faithful, you just go, thank you, man. Thank you for fighting. <laughs> He'd be like, damn. And if you, if he told his friends that you thanked him for fighting hard and not cheating, his friends would be like, what? Dude, what? <laughs> like, they would look at you like you was amazing. It's simple. Men like to fish. And sport fishing is different from catching fish for food. You just get it, you get it, you catch it, and you, you know, you, you show your friends. <laughs> because you want them to know that you, you can catch fish. You take a couple of pictures so you can show people the fish that you have the ability to catch. And then you release it back into the water. 
But a lot of women in here, you have boyfriends or husbands, you a fish that jump back on the boat. <laughs> and just was like flapping, looking at me like. Hi. Uh, I was wondering if you're gonna be fishing here again next week, like. Yeah, for other fish, get off my boat. <laughs> Is that how you treat all the fish? You'd be like, oh, God damn. <laughs> nope, I'm sorry, sweetie. You're the last fish I ever wanted to be with. Now you stuck. You're stuck with the last fish who was loving you and fighting hard to be on your boat. Then she got comfortable, and now she, instead of doing this, she's like, so we've been together for like, a year now, why do you still have a boat? You'd be like. <laughs> so what you trying to say, I can't catch fish no more? <gasps> why do you need to catch a fish? <laughs> because if I lose my ability to catch fish, then you are not gonna find me sexy no more. So you gotta smell fish on me so that you know I can catch fish so you can act right. <laughs> That's like, guys, you meet your girl, she was a hoe. Like, had whole, like, she big old booty and this and that. You gotta let her do that. Don't start trying to frump her up and get her fat and get her foul. Cause that's why you like her. I don't want no woman that no other guy's trying to fuck. I don't want a woman that I can send to the store at two in the morning. <laughs> Cause nobody's gonna try to rape her. Like, I go. Go get some bread at three in the morning. Hey, cut through the alley, bitch, cause... <laughs> cause I talk to the junkies. They don't want it. They ain't got, they don't like it. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm, look, I'm, uh, to be fair to women, um, you know, it, it's, look, God has been very uh, cruel to you. Being a woman as a creature, I think it's just, it's just unfair. I, I wouldn't want to be a woman. It's just, I mean, like your period, like I look, I look at that and, and see what my woman go through every month. Like if my nose bled <laughs> every month, I think I would kill myself. I would be like, oh my God, man. You gotta stick something in your nose with a string hanging out. Gotta take that out, whatever, you seven seconds or whatever, and five days before your nose bleed, you know it's gonna bleed, but you don't know when, so you just sitting there like, when is my nose going to start bleeding? Oh my God. And then if your nose don't bleed when it's supposed to, you're like, oh my God. My nose is supposed to be bleeding by now. I'm gonna go to the hospital if it's not bleeding soon. And y'all get horny. And my woman gets horny on her face. Oh my God. And I ain't down with that. And I see her face, like if I would do it one time, it probably would change her life. Like she would be just so grateful, but I just can't. She's like, come on, come on. Just lay a, come on, lay a towel or something down. <laughs> and I was gonna do it one time, and then I Googled the whole cycle. <laughs> it's all kind of stuff happening, I don't know. Uh, I sharpen the mop stick. Every month I just poke, I go, yeah, get back. <laughs> yeah, back, get in the closet, get out of here. <laughs> Slide some raw meat under the door. Eat that for a week. Ah, get back. <laughs> it's shocking. Like I know, look, like I said, I'm 40, I can feel I can feel my sex drive, right? I still love women, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like having sex like that. 
but I still love looking at him. Like, oh. But here's what God did for men. He turned my horniness into creepiness. Like, so <laughs> I can have a good time sitting at the mall watching chicks trying on sneakers at the Foot Locker <laughs> with the creepy face. Like, <laughs> mm. I'm good for the day. But women, you don't get creepy. You get hornier as you get older. It's weird. You want to do all your sex in between the ages of 30 and 50. That's when you want it. But here's how f sad things are. The value of vagina is only good from 18 to 29. <laughs> Pussy get old like bread, not like wine. It... I don't want the waiter to bring me a vintage glass of twat. You'd be like, would you like a 52 le stinky vagina from the funk funk region? You'd be like, ugh, nigga, you ain't got a better year than that. You ain't got a... <laughs> you got an 89 down there? Give me an 89. I don't care what it is. Water, just 89. I'm not saying you, you're not sexy if you if you 40 or whatever. I'm not, I'm, you're beautiful, whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying 20 is just 20. 20. Who's 20 now? How old are you? Older than 20? I hear it in your voice. You sound like you chew cigarettes. She's just like, <laughs> as cute as you are, you can hear it. I'm older than 20. Because women who are not 20, did you see what happened? She raised her hand fast. 20! Yay! <clears throat> um, <laughs> older than 20. 20 years. God. I bet you your pussy tastes like hope. I'm sorry, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> but that's the difference. Difference between 40-year-old cooch and 20. It's the amount of time I wait, that's it. 20, I wait forever. Just wait in the corner like, oh, it's gonna happen. I am going to wait for this 20-year-oldness. 40, I want a date. <laughs> Two dates. Two dates, and then you gotta start rolling them old draws down. <laughs> from where it is pulled up to the bra. <laughs> I'm not saying you're not sexy if, you, if it's for, I'm, not, I'm just saying it's the time, that's it. Like I want it now. If I'm willing to eat some stale Cracker Jacks, I'll eat <laughs> some stale Cracker Jacks, but I want them right now. If I say, hand me them stale Cracker Jacks right there, and you go, come and get them, I'd be like, just throw them on the floor. <laughs> they old, the box is open. There's no prize in it. Where the magnifying glass? <laughs> One peanut, get, get out of here. Making me crawl around for old Cracker Jacks. And you will be able to laugh at that, ladies, if you, you just, it's just not fun for you. Nothing's fun. Sex isn't fun. Sex is so much fun for dudes. Cause we got a money shot. You don't understand what it's like <laughs> to see the, the feeling, like we both have orgasms. Ugh, ugh. But men have a receipt, like we, <laughs> We see it, and it's a payoff. You be like, I am satisfied, because that's what it is, right? Look at it. <laughs> you don't think you'd be happier, ladies, if you could just have a, if you could just shoot a couple of eggs in a guy's face, you just <laughs> right on top of his forehead? 
You wouldn't be happy? Get on. And he's just sitting there. And, and you go, oh, that felt good. Go in the bathroom and wash your face. And you walk in the bathroom. Oh, and wiping his eyes. Why are you so aggressive? You're like, shut up, faggot, and hurry up, make me a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Call your friends on the phone. I just egged on the top of his head. Don't tell your friends our business. Shut up, she already knows I egg on the top of your head already. <laughs> hey, I gotta go, man. Y'all take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Call your mother.